I'm Robin Higgins, and this is Are Dissolution and Solubility Related? Yes, definitely, they're very similar. Okay, so a couple of definitions. Dissolution is the process of a solute dissolving in a solvent becoming a solution. And solubility is whether or not a solute can dissolve. So basically, dissolution is just a fancy science word for dissolve, and solubility is whether or not something will dissolve. Uh, so I'll explain with an example. So here, let's pretend we're making some Kool-Aid. So at this first cup, we've just added our powder here. It's sitting on the bottom. We've got our water all around it. Now, after time or stirring, uh, we basically make our Kool-Aid. So it's just all turned pink, um, and there's no longer any particles in it. If you looked at a certain part of it over here and then looked at it over here, it would look exactly the same. Uh, there's no difference. And this is what dissolving really is. It's that it's completely homogeneous, which means that it's the same all the way throughout. So just to kind of think about another example, if we took a rock from the ground and put it in a cup of water, it doesn't matter how much we stirred it, right? It would just be a rock in a cup of water. It would not dissolve. It is not soluble. Um, so. Let's look, take a look at some factors that can increase solubility. Uh, well, there's the nature of both the solute, the solid, and the solvent, usually the liquid. Um, so if you have things that are uh, very similar, so for instance, sugar is kind of polar and water is very polar, they'll dissolve, uh, then they will probably be soluble and it probably will have good dissolution. If you have things that are very different, like a rock and wa water, so some metal versus water, they're not similar, they're not going to dissolve, a rock won't be soluble. Um, other things that increase solubility are temperature, so if you raise the temperature, things are more likely to dissolve. And then another good thing is mixing. So for, let's say we added like two cups of sugar and we just left it there, there's a chance that it wouldn't all dissolve, but if we kind of gave it a mix and increased the surface area and the interactions of the different particles, then we would have complete solubility and dissolution. I'm Robin Higgins, and this is our dissolution and solubility related.